Hello. She'd just black out at random times and wake up to hear about a new suspiciously <coughs> blonde superhero. Hey, Wiz, Excuse me. maybe I have a superhero side like this. I mean, I black out all the time. Boomstick, you don't have powers. You have a problem. Throughout her adventures, Carol went through several phases of superhero titles. First Miss Marvel, then Binary, then Warbird, then Miss Marvel again, until one day, Marvel died. Here's to you, Marvel. To honor her fallen friend, Carol Danvers took up his mantle, becoming the brand new Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel is unbelievably huh. powerful, with superhuman strength and incredible durability. She learned she how to fly hunk. planes in the Air yeah. Force, but now she could fly herself and super fast. Speaking of which, through her time with the Air Force and as a member of the Avengers, she's received years of quality combat training. Not only can she hit hard, she can fire powerful concussive blasts of photon and stellar light energy from her hands, as well as create energy fields. As if all that weren't enough, Carol can open up an extra can of whoop-ass by absorbing energy. Absorbing anything from electricity to magic can make her even stronger. With these powers, Captain Marvel has done some pretty amazing things. While training with the Avengers, the combat simulation measured that she could deliver a force of 92 tons. Almost 10 times the destructive power of a Davy Crockett nuclear missile. She can survive what? energy blasts to the face and even the vacuum of space for a long period Listen. of time. Once she flew Damn. from Broadway to the end of the atmosphere in only a minute and 58 seconds. That's a lot of ground uh, sky to cover in less than two minutes. She claims Ooh. that's her personal record. Um, now, considering the distance between the New York City Street and the exosphere, all. Marvel must have been flying 247 oh. times yeah. faster than the speed of sound. Carol has taken Whoa. out characters like Vision, punched Iron Man out of his armor, and even survived two point-blank blasts from the Destructor's beam, which has wow. enough power to punch holes through an Imperial Kree starship. And that's not even the height of her power. If Marvel absorbs enough energy, she can access the powers of Binary, a form she took after losing her powers, getting lost in space, and being experimented on by aliens. Long story. As binary, she can tap into the power of a white hole and generate star levels of energy. And her hair's on fire! Were you even listening? That's like the least interesting thing about it. Says you! Look at it! Binary was an extremely powerful form, capable of wiping out entire fleets of enemy ships. But one that Captain Marvel does not have easy Let's access say it again. to. She initially lost the form Android after expending all of its is. energy and is unable to reach it again without absorbing uh. a massive amount of interstellar energy, such as the infinite energy from a gravitational field of a black hole singularity. She's too stubborn to just give up, though. She's stubborn to a fault, even rushing headlong into situations while ignoring advice from wiser, more experienced friends. Like the time she started a civil war between superheroes, or when she completely ignored her damaging addiction to alcohol. Ah, yeah, Carol is a badass with a hell of a lot of power. But if Tony Stark of all people thinks you have a drinking problem, you should probably listen to him instead of trying to fly into space while completely wasted. Yeah. Regardless, Captain Marvel is a seasoned hero with a record that most would be envious of. Hell, she's such a pillar, she's named after the publishing company itself. <laughs> Anybody else? Yeah. All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once the and for is all. On. But first, it's time for some scrumptious blue apron. Now I'm a man who likes a good home-cooked meal. But We're going gonna skip out to this. buy or hunt my own food is a hassle. If only there was some way food could be brought straight to me. Introducing Blue Apron, the number one friend. Battle! Hold on. HD is not on for some reason. There we go. There she is.
Get back. This orb is coming with me. Hold on, we're gonna change it now. We're gonna change it back where it was. It's not going well. Okay. That makes it better. Give me a break, lady. I've been looking for that thing all day. Don't make me hurt you. Yeah, good luck with that. Fight! Up both. I really don't have time for this. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> what a pest. No fair! That's playing dirty! Time to clean up then. Surprise! Good. Thanks for the energy. <laughs> I can take whatever you give and dish it back twice as hard. <laughs> I can do it too. Oh boy. This ain't good. Oh! No fair. I can still. <sighs> and that's that. KO! Ouch! Now Damn. that's a crushing Damn. blow! Captain Marvel may have been one of the Avengers' mightiest warriors, but she couldn't stand up Damn. to the impressive power, speed, and expertise of Android 18. Damn. First off, the numbers that don't was lie. Brutal. When it comes to speed, Carol's that was best so record brutal. put her in just under 200,000 miles per hour, but 18 could move over 100,000 miles faster. Most apparent of all, Marvel's durability and strength feats simply pale in comparison to 18's. The only way Marvel's power could match 18's was to absorb enough energy to reach her binary form. But 18 is no stranger to that technique. There's no doubt she recognized what Carol was doing and stopped feeding her energy. Even if Carol had somehow achieved the full force of binary, that wouldn't have guaranteed a win. I mean, the last time we saw binary in the comics, she was taken down by some alien guns. Guess she's not as good at absorbing energy as she thought. With superior speed, strength, tactics, and endurance, Android 18 simply wore Captain Marvel down until it was time to go in for the kill. And that's why Captain Marvel lost by T. Keo! God, that one was awful. The winner is Android 18. My vote was correct. Hey, don't go away. We're about to reveal the matchup for the next episode of Death Battle. And if you want to see exclusive commentary on this episode, click that little button over there and start a first membership trial. Helps us out a lot. What's next? Whoa. Metal Sonic versus Zero. I would say that that was pretty good. So, thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.